Galthmath helps with your math. Welcome to Galthmath. In this video, we're going to talk about how to build a roof on top of your house. Nah, just kidding. We're going to introduce the relationships between the sides of a triangle to you. But if you learn it well, you could not only get an A in solving triangle questions, but save money when you are buying materials for roof repairment. Let's say you want to build your roof in the shape of a triangle. You know, the one that will survive in a tornado. Presume that your room is four meters long. There are four lengths of wooden sticks and you have to choose two from them to build your roof. How would you choose the right sticks with the proper length to construct the triangle roof? Which two of them could help? Let's say you picked up a one meter stick and a two meter stick. Now try to build up a triangle with the base of four meters they'll never make up a triangle. Is this because we chose the shortest two of the four lengths? Let's try with two two meter sticks. Well, not gonna work. However, if you pick up a two meter and a three meter stick, you'll find that they can construct a triangle. So why have we failed to get triangles in our first two attempts? Well, you must have noticed that it's because of the lengths of the sticks. We can't randomly choose three lengths to construct a triangle. And that is to say, there are certain constraints on the side length of the triangle. The first constraint is that the sum of the lengths of any two sides must be greater than the third side. That's why we fail at the beginning. One plus two is smaller than four. And two plus two equals four, but not greater than four. Finally, by choosing a two meter stick and a three meter stick, we successfully build up the triangle. 2,000 years ago, mathematician Euclid wrote in Euclid's Elements that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. This great discovery was mocked by the other mathematicians at the time. They believed this triangle constraint was useless. Since the shortest path between two points is always the straight line, thus the sum length of any other paths would always be greater than this straight line. Here's a puppy sitting at point A. You put a bowl of food at point C, and there's a tree at point B. Without any surprise, your puppy will run straight towards the food along AC, instead of running out of his way, AB plus BC, unless it's not hungry and wants to take extra exercise. Thus, we get the triangle inequalities theorem by the inspiration from Euclid. There's another constraint of constructing a triangle. The difference of any two sides of a triangle is less than the third side. This one, together with the previous constraint, are known as the triangle inequality theorem. Now let's go back to building up a triangle roof. In order to help you, your neighbor Lucy brought four bunches of sticks for you. We already know from the triangle inequality theorem that the sum of any two sides is greater than the third side, and the difference of any two sides is less than the third side. In option A, 5 plus 5 equals 10. We could rule it out. Likewise, option C and D can be ruled out. Take a closer look at option B. 6 plus 9 is greater than 13. The first constraint is checked. And 13 minus 6 is 7, which is less than 9. Second constraint, checked. So the answer to this question is B. Remember to check both of these two constraints when you try to construct a triangle next time. Have more questions about the relationship between the sides of a triangle? Find an expert to help you on our app, Galthmath. Homework solver, step by step.